Hi, this is Fedger Crave from Metal TV, uh, Bloodstock Festival 2011. I'm hanging out with Hell. How are we doing, man? We're doing great, thank, thank, you. thank you. Yeah, we've had a blast today. Great crowd, great reception. We just loved it. I was going to say, I've been really lazy today. Uh, I woke up as you guys went on stage, so like really loud. So you woke me up, which is a good sign. Well, the guy that <laughs> the, the guy that did the compare and said that um, it's the biggest crowd he's ever seen for a, that early an opening band on, on on the Sunday on the main stage, which is which is great. It's so it's fun. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it's, it, the way the crowd built it was extraordinary. We, when we did the uh, the setting up of the gear, there was there's nobody in the field. Then we went to get changed, and when we came back, it was full, which is the last few minutes that make that difference, isn't it? You know, yeah. like we were here for Wasp on Friday, and literally five minutes before, and it was empty. Mm -hmm. uh, by the time they hit the stage, it was packed, like you yeah. say. The same happened to you, but it's good to see it happen that early, you know, 11 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, yeah I mean, well, it's especially it's testament the kind of people you, ha you have here, that the kind of people who will turn out to, to give things a chance because you know, we are a new band to a lot of people, yeah, especially and after a heavy yeah. night on Saturday. Yeah. 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 You guys went through, um, you know, since, since the early beginning, then there was a big, big gap, um, and then you guys reunited, you know, how was it, um, you know, to, to be away from it for that long and then come back to it? Well, uh, I mean, the history's been pretty well documented already, uh, but I mean, the very, very short version of the story is that the band uh, basically folded in 1987, um, when Dave Halliday, who was the band's original yeah. frontman, tragically took his own life. Um, and at that point, I'm mean, on a personal level, that's it, I quit, I sold all my gear, I went away, got married, divorced, job, fired, all the usual crap, and, um, you know, just kind of waved goodbye as, as, as part of my history. Um, and then all of a sudden, um, you know, through a whole amazing set of circumstances, um, the band kind of came back together again. 2008. Uh, in socially circling, you know, through, through Andy Sneep's involvement, um, and obviously Andy now, you know, Grammy Award winner at the top of his game. Um, he always felt that Hell, as his major influence, never really had the break that it deserved. Um, and, he, and he just kind of resolved that he'd do something about it. And we initially just started just you know, re-recording some of the old songs just for fun. Uh, and we basically didn't stop. Uh, and suddenly good. We, we had this album done and we'd got five labels bidding for it. And yeah. Ultimately, you signed to Nuclear Blast and... Uh, yeah, we did yeah. Right. yeah. And uh, since, since signing, you feel it's definitely gone in the right direction and because it's, it's a great metal label. It's, well, it's the best. I mean, it's, you know, I mean Nuclear Blast were always always going to be the first choice. Obviously, Andy's worked with them and their, their bands for the last 10 years anyway. Great Ross, you know, of bands. It's really, really good yeah, bands. It's just it's a dream come true, really. And they're just, they're just so... I mean, it's, you know, we, we English people, we always make jokes about, you know, ruthless German efficiency. But it, the whole organ... It's like a Mercedes V12. It's, it's just... It, you know, it, it just runs so well. Um, they're so switched on, and you know, they've been incredibly good for us. You know. That's what you want from a label, though, these days. You know? A lot of them do let bands down. They like the bands. It's not just that they've sensed an opportunity to make some money out of a product. You, you, everybody you meet within the, the community of the, the record label likes the bands. They like personal them. touch in there as well. Yeah, and, it, and that, that means everything to us, I think. It does, yeah, definitely. Really does. Uh, now, in May, Human Remains, uh, so it's, we've talked, uh, it came out, uh, so it's been a few months. You know, how do you feel it's been received from, from, from media and, and and the fan point of view. Well, the, the reaction from the media has been extraordinary. After all this time as well. Um, yeah. I mean, the reviews that it's had um, on, you know, kind of internet websites and in magazines as well, um, you know, people are saying all sorts of stuff about it, you know, best album this, best album that. Um, I, I, if I could put my hand on my heart, I, I, I can't honestly think of any any journalist that said anything negative about it. Good to see, man. Which, which is very, very good to see these days. <laughs> it doesn't happen often these days, does it? But you know, it, it's it's a good album. You know, it, it's it's beyond a good album, and it's just different. Um, I think there are a lot of people who we talk to are getting a little bit bored with metal. It's getting very, very stale, very kind of samey. You know, the same repetitive. Yeah, yeah, same blast beats, same arpeggios, same growl vocals, uh, and then suddenly something like this comes along, uh, and it just sounds so fresh and original. You know, in polite change. They do, yeah. Definitely. yeah. They do indeed, yes. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, maybe in exactly the same way that we were in the wrong place at the wrong time 25 years ago, you know, maybe we're in the right place at the right time this time around, so. so I mean, it certainly looks to be that way, doesn't it, you know? It does, yeah. So we've had a, a very, very good start. When you consider the albums we've been out a couple of months now, we've, yeah. we've already played Download and Bloodstock. It's phenomenal. That's two major festivals in one year as well, so. So after today, I mean, you, got, you did play earlier, what, what's next? Um, we've got a day off, then we're out to do Summer Breeze in Germany. 
a whole day off, just one day. Whole day off, yeah, yeah that's rock and roll yeah. for you. Yeah, we're doing Summer Breeze Festival in Germany. Um, we're actually second headliners to Silosis on the Nuclear Blast night. Oh, cool, man. We love those guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. great band. Um, what's after that? Um, we've Fans got always forget where they've got to go. No, there's, 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 there's a show in Dublin. Uh, we're doing the Sweden Rock Cruise, which is going to be a blast because it's it's basically oh, the cruise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A ship with you know thousands of drunken Swedish metalheads on, uh, and then we're straight off the ship onto a plane. and We've got a show in Athens. Um, in, a, in actual fact, we would have played a lot more live this year. Uh, but as you're probably aware, most of the big events, they, they, they kind of book their acts a year in advance. Oh, yeah. Uh, and because our album didn't come out till uh, the yeah, middle of May, we kind of missed the boat this year uh, for a lot of the major festivals. But it's at least good to see you, you know, here and download and, and these other shows. That you've got to go on the road and promote the record after all, you know? Absolutely, yeah. Right. Well, also, the name out there. Yeah, and if you're not playing to people, you're not a band, really, anyway. Exactly. Anyone can release an album, but without shows, it doesn't work these days. You know? yeah. I mean, I mean, live work is it's, it's what we're all about anyway, as you, as, you know, as anybody who's has seen. And in, incidentally, um, this is only the eighth gig we've ever played as a band. Ever? Yeah, which is which is kind of scary, really. Oh. Um, you know, when you kind of see the kind of level we've attained in such a short space of time. I mean, you know, come back That's and talk... scary, that is, yeah. Well, I mean, come back and talk to us again in a year, and uh, I think you'll see something... Maybe it'll be 58 by now. Yeah. Hopefully, anyway. But yeah. it's really good to see you guys back, you know, on the scene and uh, with the new album and all the best for future material and uh, thanks for everything. Thanks, all the festivals, man. thanks a lot. Thanks for your time. And thanks, thanks to everybody who's watched it. And thanks for your great support today. You've been absolutely brilliant. We're so grateful. Cheers. Thank you.